going to look at momentum today. You know that momentum is mass times velocity. And because mass is a scalar and velocity is a vector, when you multiply the two of them to get together, you get a vector. So momentum has a direction, a magnitude and a direction. I've got two cars. These are very good cars. And I have magnets in the front of each one of them. And so when this car approaches that car, the magnetic force will take over and the energy from this car will be imparted somewhat to the energy of this car. Now here's the thing. Momentum is a conserved quantity. That means that whatever momentum we have in this system, and that in this system is just going to be these two cars, that momentum must be conserved. So if this car has a particular velocity, and this one is standing still, the momentum of this system is just going to be mass times velocity there. Now, what's going to happen when they collide? total momentum must still be the momentum of this car, mass times velocity. Watch what happens. Total momentum right now is mass times velocity of the green car. All that momentum was transferred into the second car. This one came to a dead stop. The total momentum was conserved. Whatever we had for mass times velocity here is going to be the same with mass times velocity there because that guy came to a dead stop. This is called an elastic collision. If they stick together, that is called an inelastic collision. So let's try that. On the other side of the cars, I've got little Velcro rounds over here. And so if they stick together, they will stick together. So let's try that. Now remember, the total momentum must be conserved. So the mass times the velocity has to be the same whenever we look at this thing. Let me get this one started and watch what happens. Do you see that? One more time. Mass times velocity. Two masses times half the velocity mass times velocity is going to be conserved. So we do have a conservation of momentum with the system. Now, what if we have this car being substantially heavier than this car? This is more mass over here. What do you think is going to happen when this car collides and sticks to that car? Think about it for a minute, and then we're going to try it. Here we go. Mass times velocity. Whoa. Total mass times the new velocity must equal the mass of this car times its original velocity. So mass of this car times its original velocity must equal total mass times the brand new velocity. Momentum is conserved. Let's look at an elastic collision again. 
What if we have zero total momentum? Here's what I mean by that. If this car and this car, if these two cars are coming together at the same velocity from opposite directions, the total momentum is zero. Same velocity, same mass, but opposite directions. So the vector quantity for momentum for this one, if it's coming in this direction, would be in that direction over there. If this guy is going to your right, the momentum of this car would be in that direction. Add those two together and you get zero. Let's see if that works. I'm going to do a little trick to make sure that they have the same velocity. So I'm going to start the two of them off with the same velocity by just connecting them with this meter stick. This one will get down to the end. There are magnets down here that will cause that car to change its direction and come back at approximately the same velocity as it had when it was going into the magnets. So watch what happens. First of all, what do you think is going to happen? Total momentum must be zero. So what's going to happen when they collide? That's what's going to happen when they collide. The total momentum is zero. And it's zero right now. Let's try an inelastic, excuse me, an elastic collision with two cars of different masses. You saw what happened if they had the same mass. First car comes to a stop, second car picks up its motion. What do you think will happen if I make the second car substantially more massive than the first car? What's going to happen when this car collides with that car, elastically? Watch and see. Did you see that? This car changed its direction. This car took some of the momentum that was going in that direction and continued to move in that direction. This car moved in the opposite direction. What do you think would happen if we do it like this? This car is stationary. This car is going to be in motion. This car is much more massive than that car. Let's try it. The second car had a tremendously fast increase in its velocity. The first car just seemed to plow right through the second. Let's try it one more time. Here we go. Oh. Make sense? <laughs> 